right, this is activity 2-5 and this is uh, setting up an alternative IP configuration. So our objective is to configure an alternate IP address uh, to be used when the DHCP server is unavailable. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make sure we're logged in as an administrator and then we're going to go to our start control panel and our network connections. I'm going to right click on that and go to properties. And the next thing we want to do is start internet protocol and then click properties. Okay, the next thing we want to do is check the video button that says obtain IP address automatically and then for this activity we're going to go to the alternate configuration and we're going to check user configured and we're going to type in 172 30.0.26 with a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 and we're going to set our default gateway to 172.30.0.254 and our preferred DNS is going to be 172. Now we're going to click OK. And that will save our changes. Now the activity wants us to um, go to our command prompt, check our configurations. So we're going to go to run and type in CMD for our command prompt and then just do an IP config. see our new IP address so we take it a moment do a release and a renew happens okay so now it's Still getting an IP address from a DHCP server. So that's the addresses that my DHCP server's sending out. Okay, well, that is how we would configure an alternate IP configuration in case the DHCP server is unavailable. Um, which is, is available right now, so um, the settings aren't taking effect, of course, but um, we have successfully configured an alternate IP address.